All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Sorry for the delay. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, there was actually a Wolf Quest update today. Uh, there is a new Wolf Quest coat DLC that is out, and uh, YouTube was like, "Hey, let me show you the video for this right as you have to start streaming." So I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna watch this first so we can talk about it." <laughs> but uh, we are we are here now. We are back. Uh, as you can see in the chat, if you are live on Twitch. Uh, Rain has the Wolf Quest command here for Mubot, so you can do exclamation mark Wolf Quest DLC, and it'll uh, it, it'll come up for you, and it'll have a nice link if you want to check that out for yourself. But we're gonna go ahead and jump in. We may not get to see some of these right away, but depending on how things go, we might see them later on. I'll turn off the screen here, and hopefully y'all can hear me all right. Um, I think yes. Thank you very much for watching the ads. They do help support the channel. Um, so hopefully y'all can hear me, and hopefully y'all can see all right. I think it should be good. Okay, audio, good, good. Oh, congrats, Violet. That's really cool. Um, all right, Remus is giving a nice howl, but we all need to rest, so I think we're going to do that because Peregrine is pretty tired. And before we do that, let me actually look at the pack stats here, because as you can see, everybody is pretty, uh, pretty high on weight. So Hawk is our smallest. He is at almost 17 pounds. So there's a good chance we'll be finishing this kind of early today. And if we do finish a little bit early, because this is a two-hour stream, of course, usually, um, we may, may or may not wrap up early, but we'll probably go through and actually take a look at some of the airs, and I'll get some of that prepped up so you guys will get a little bit of a bonus look at that before it starts to go up on YouTube. And we may also, oh, it's raining, <laughs> we may also, though, go ahead and take a bit of a look at Frodo and possibly see some of the new coats later on in the stream. I'm not going to do that now because I want to get started with Peregrine and continue her story. I don't think her puppies are going to be able to have the new coats because they were generated before the update, of course. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, here are the babies. I'm going to keep you guys in the grass just for a minute, please. <laughs> I want to check on the territory and such not before. Um, if we look at the pack territory, it's not awful. It could be fun. It could be, it could be better, but it could be worse. It seems fine. Overall, yeah, bold pups are wild indeed. They they definitely go running off. Um, so I don't think, yeah, her puppies will have the new coats because they probably will not, is what I'm, uh, I meant to say there. Because I don't think they, because they, they were already, what is over here? Hello? Hello? No, I'm just seeing gaps in the grass. All right, I think we're okay. All right, let's call the puppies out briefly. And that is an eagle, but I think the puppies are too big to be carried off right now. I'm not, not positive, but I've never had an eagle attack at the rendezvous site. Um, but uh, I think... I think we're okay. We'll go ahead and we'll make sure that we play with them and get the pack affinity up a little bit so we can go and do our stuff. But yeah, I think because her puppies were generated before the new coats were added, none of them will have them. However, we may give Frodo one of the new coats, depending. We'll take a look at him after this, if we have the time, as I mentioned. Uh, I will catch up with chat in just a little bit here. I don't like to do that while I'm at the rendezvous site. We'll do more of that once we get out and about and start marking territory, and I don't have to worry about looking away from the puppies and possibly getting into trouble with that. But, oh, is that, that was a mule deer, I think. I think that was just a mule deer. I could not tell what was going by in the distance, and I think it, uh, think it was just a deer. It, it can pay to be a little paranoid sometimes, but we're almost up to full. We're at 91%. Let's go ahead, call them out again, and we will play just a little bit more. No worries, all good. Don't worry about being late. Uh, as always, you can catch these on YouTube if you miss any, but we're thankful you're here live, or even if you're not here live, we're thankful that you're, you're watching and hopefully enjoying Puma. Puma, let's not do this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, even uh, don't worry about being late. We're just glad you can make ahead after we howl here and move these guys back in the grass again. <laughs> I know I've done that like three times. Hello. All right, please. Okay, Hawk, back in the grass, back in the grass, back in the grass. Hawk, Hawk. Okay, everybody's hidden. Everybody's hidden. Where are these guys? Where are they? I had a feeling. Oh, there's just one. A little bit of a bold one kind of by the looks of it. But okay, I think he's gone. All right. All right, coyotes scare me a lot now, but I think we're all good. So, 
Let's go briefly down and we'll mark the other territory there, but uh, mostly I think we're going to try to take some more away from Crevice Lake. I'll go ahead and check <laughs> to the check out the chat here. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, if your internet is lagging, you could try turning down stream quality. Everything looks good on my end, so it seems like it's probably between Twitch and you, which is unfortunate, but sometimes turning down the quality can help. Um... Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's see. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, danger indeed. But I'm glad, I'm glad everything worked out. That was alright, I think. Alright, here we go into this one. There should be. Yeah, the scent post is pretty close. We shouldn't have too, diff too much difficulty here. Um, we had, it looks like we've been streaming about, uh, about eight minutes here. Probably not as long on the YouTube video because we don't have the pre-stream for that. But yeah, so kind of my plan for today is we'll probably finish off with Peregrine's last litter here, which of course will push us into the air pole. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll get, we'll get started on kind of preparing for the next, um... For, for, for the next story, which of course will be Frodo's, which I will probably be starting next week back on Amethyst Mountain. And what we will probably do with that is we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll take a look first of all at Peregrine's puppies, and then we'll make any tweaks we want to do to him because I created him before the new coats came out, and it could be kind of fun to try one of those. So that's probably what the stream will look like if we do wrap up a little bit early here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, then some of these will probably come out as uh, different videos down the line. So uh, keep an eye out for that. It'll probably be a little bit more broken up and not in a single chunk. You'll have the air videos released as time continues to go on. So depending on where you're seeing this, things might get a little bit interesting, but not to worry, we'll get it all sorted out. Now, just as a reminder, the voting is going to take place on the JPlace2 channel on YouTube. Uh, I will have, as each video goes up, we'll have links to a poll for that. And um, the other thing that we're going to be doing with that, that I'm starting to implement on my Patreon, is when we when we make the wolves, when we get the when we get the generated puppies, you can't do anything to their coat or whatnot, of course. But you can do stuff like change their. Um, other customizations, so like torn ears or radio collars, whatever, all that can be changed. And so, for uh, as one of the Patreon perks that we have, uh, I'm going to be putting up my some videos on there where you guys can go ahead and uh, offer suggestions as maybe some of the customizations the wolves might have and some of the stories behind that. And I'll be going through that. And if there's any that jump out at me, I might be adding some of those. So if you guys are a member of the Patreon, you'll have a chance to participate in that, so make sure you make sure if you are on the Patreon to keep an eye out for those videos, those will be going up, and this will be applying both to my main channel, were these guys just hanging out? I think they were, uh, but that'll be applying both to the main channel uh, on YouTube and the videos we do here on Twitch, so that's just some of the stuff that's kind of going on here in the background, <laughs> um, some of the stuff we are looking at there. Yeah, Peregrine did almost tumble down the hill, sometimes the slopes can be a little bit, uh, a bit slippery. Um, oh, oh boy, gotta love, gotta love when your mate decides to feed the babies in the middle of a strange wolf attack. That's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, the water water coyotes are indeed absolutely terrifying. I, I don't don't much like that. Wait, this is oh right at the. I think they must have just marked over our scent post right here. So we'll go ahead and mark that. Hey, um, and indeed, indeed. We will be immortalizing some of our wolves with emotes. Peregrine already has hers. I know you guys have uh, wanted us to do one for Remus as well. Oh, I, that's right. We can't just mark over it again. Um, but we'll be implementing some of those. I don't have that set up just yet, but that's something that'll be coming at some point in the future as well. So, yeah, we're going to be immortalizing a lot of our wolves. Maybe we'll try and do something little for most of them along the way. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, all right. Hey, I'm glad it's working better on your phone. That's always a relief. Wait, did we mark it all the way up? I think we did not, looks like. We did not. Uh, yeah, this is indeed her last litter, but uh, do not worry, her legacy will live on. She has already 10 surviving puppies and hopefully five more. We just got to get them to, to 20 pounds here. And if that is the case, then we will go ahead and... Um, We'll go ahead and uh, we'll 
be voting between whichever properties make it. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time remembering the numbers, aren't I? <laughs> we'll see some of them. Oh, but we can we can look through. We can look through on the um, uh, on the the family tree. We should be able to actually, because uh, we'll try and look through the puppies today if we have the chance. All right, yeah, that's working. That is working. All right, let's head this way. Hope it looks like the next scent post is right over here. Oh, hello, hey. Tripping over rocks in the creek, apparently. <laughs> hey! Very, very, very nice. I'm glad you're enjoying the Awu emote. You can you can purchase those temporarily with channel points, or if you are subscribed, you'll have access to that. Um, and uh, I also wanted to say a thank you as well when we have the chance here to... I'm going to say your name wrong. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, Fl Flamin... 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 Flamin Raycon? Hopefully it's, I'm saying it right. I, I, we know I have a track record of not being able to pronounce things. I'm sorry, it's not just you. I'm just not able to say words sometimes. <laughs> but thank you, and thank you to Soft Lassie as well. I can't remember if you subscribed during the last stream or after it, but I wanted to make sure I said thank you to both y'all for subscribing and helping support the channel. So we're getting, we're getting better with this. We're getting better at this. Oh my goodness, you have a family tree with many wolves, over 200. That's wild. Wow! <laughs> I hope at some point we will get that far with the family tree. That's amazing. Um, we shall see. I'm very, very glad y'all are liking the Awu emote. It's kind of fun to be able to participate with that. Whoa, that's Hecking Bison. Um, let's not, let's not go crashing right in the midst of the herd. Um, that <laughs> is a lot of Awus. Wow! Goodness, that is a huge family tree. Some of y'all, some of y'all have very big ones by the sound of it. I think we only have, I think, 17 total, including the. Well, we we don't even have that yet, but I think for Peregrine so far, she had a total of 17 puppies, and 10 of them for sure have made it. We'll see about the others, but hopefully, uh, we also got a hunt. But I'm a little bit. I'd like to try and find. Oh, I, you know. We haven't been bumping into babies. I bet what's happened is that we've reached the point in time where the babies are now uh, mobile again. So we probably ought to track down some mule deer if we can, or we could try and hunt in an elk herd if we can find one. But I imagine that's why we're not tripping over the babies. Um, yes, I hope at some point Wolf Quest will develop to the point where we can keep playing in a cycle and like where we can where we can just go straight back around and keep playing maybe with even the older babies helping us raise the younger ones because that's a thing that wolves do oh there's bears somewhere too that is a thing that wolves do that's not something we've seen reflected in the game yet but i would really love to see that happen at some point in the future we do know tower fall is planned which is going to be the continuation on from here where you'll be able oh there's moose as well but where you'll be able to play as the um all right, well, you, well, you'll be able to continue raising the pups as they get a little bit older, but we don't have that just yet. We don't know when that's coming out. Considering that Slot Creek just released, I reckon we have a while yet, but that is something that's on the horizon at some point. Uh, yes, yes, we did. I did watch the video on the DLC wolf coats before we got here. Those did just come out today. We have, as Rain has shown, she has the little link to the DLC there. Thank you for, thank you for making sure we keep sharing that. Uh, if you want to check it out, we've got that in the video. I'm going to track down this moose and see if we can find a baby, uh, possibly. If it's an adult moose, I don't think we're going to try to hunt it, but it might be worth trying if there is a baby, because um, we do need food as well. And we've got our territory up, mostly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they did release some new DLC coats. They have a total of 15 coats in the pack, I think. They're all based off of different wolves in Yellowstone, and they're all really, really cool. Uh, I did actually get the DLC as well, so we have that, and maybe we'll be taking a look at that, uh, depending as we look at some of the wolves afterwards. I don't think any of Peregrine's pups can have it, as I mentioned earlier, uh, since they were generated before the DLC was added, I don't think they can have those coats, but... Uh, there is a chance we might see some of the NPC exclusive ones, I think, because I'm pretty sure they were generated after that. Um, and I think that, well, because we're going to be working on uh, kind of touching up a little bit uh, uh, for Frodo, who I did technically create, but we'll be editing him because we'll, we'll basically be starting over. Um, we may give him one of the new coats, and we can take a look at what those new coats are. That's a bull moose. No, nothing, nothing, to, nothing, to, nothing to hunt here. Nothing to hunt here. All right, we're not going to be dealing with that. Um, 
Nah, you're good. I feel that I can't talk most days. <laughs> I say that as I stream, and like, I sometimes the words really just do stop working. They are very pretty coats. They're some of my favorites. I feel like every time Wolf Quest releases new coats, they get prettier. Like, to see the progression from the original, original Wolf Quest coats and how, how amazing the new ones are, they're just really, really pretty. Um, and the, the team has really done an amazing job on them. Uh, yeah, it's hard to pick a favorite. I've liked some of the some of the ones, I, some of the black coats especially. I'm a, I'm definitely a sucker for black and white coats, and there's a few that have some really nice light and darks on them, and they're just so pretty to me. But they're all really cool. <laughs> um, Aiden's pups were generated before the previous or before the DLC. So what the, they didn't have DLC coats. What they had was um, the ambassador wolf coats. The ambassador wolf coats aren't part of the DLC. And a lot of Peregrine's puppies have had the ambassador coats as well. Uh, but those are those aren't part of the DLC. Those are just um, man. I just really cannot heck and find food. There's also dispersals around here somewhere, but we're not gonna pick a fight with them. Um, I think the wind keeps changing in an unfavorable way as well. Up oh, here is oh, those are live bison. Um, I don't really want to hunt. I'm not risking that hunt. That's. If we have to, if we have to, we could go without food. I would really rather not, but I don't want to run out of, um, I don't want to run out of, oh, this was the one that we just encountered. Don't want to run out of pack affinity either. Oh, here is, this is a normal mule deer. All right, we'll go for the normal mule deer. It's still going to be a bit of a tricky hunt, but I think it'll be easier than, uh, if we're, if we're going to try to hunt anything else. All right, let's see. Oh, and we're going right into Crevice Lake territory. All right, Remus should try and latch on. Perfect, perfect. We can slow down a little bit and try to get uh, get a good bite here. Oops, got to regain some stamina. Fortunately, she does seem to be slowing down. And I think between... Ow, we're really taking damage, though, there. All right, got to hold off for a minute. Oh, can we get a good bite? Whoa, what the heck was that? <laughs> Um, hold on, y'all, for just half a second here. That was not supposed to happen. I do not know what in the world that was. We got some uh, big, massive lag going on. <laughs> just gonna send in a quick report on that. So, um... Pardon me for a minute. Pardon me for that. As always, you can report bugs by pressing F11 and sending in a report there. Uh, I try to do that whenever we encounter one. It helps the team a lot to be able to figure out what the heck is going on, which can be a difficult thing sometimes. We need to finish this hunt and uh, and get uh, get 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 to um, get to the get to the rendezvous site again because the pack affinity is getting dangerously low. Um, and I really, man, look how much damage we've taken even just from a mule deer hunt. A uh, playing on accurate is surprisingly difficult. So let's see here. I think we'll do, we'll go ahead, we'll eat as quickly as we can. We'll run right back. That pack affinity is scaring me a lot. But yeah, so I try to report bugs when I run across. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh my goodness. Thank you for that rain. Actually, I may, um, may send that to the devs as well so they can see what the heck I was talking about because they don't even know how to... I don't even know how to describe what just happened. <laughs> it was weird. Did you eat Remus? Remus, sir, eat your food. 
I think he was waiting for me to finish. I think he was waiting for me to finish. Oh, uh, yeah, he's gonna eat. All right, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry and head back. Hey, get off the carcass, eagle. Stop. Stop. Oh, my goodness. I have a meat chunk, by the way. I'm gonna bring that back for the puppies. Um, yeah, I would love to do a wolf with the white lady coat. We might have to. So for, for those of you guys who may not have heard that story, so one of the new coats is based off a famous wolf in Yellowstone known as the white lady. She had this really striking white coat. I think she was the only wolf that really had a white coat like that at the time when she was in the park. And, uh, when I actually went to Yellowstone and saw a wolf, she was actually the wolf that I saw, I'm pretty sure. After the fact, I went back and looked at the records for the year I was there, and I'm pretty sure she was the only one who matched the description of the wolf that I saw so it's really I didn't I had no idea she was well known at the time um, I did not know that uh, not only did I see a wolf but I apparently saw a famous wolf but uh, she has a very pretty coat in the game as well and it would be cool to do a wolf based off of her so that might be something we'll consider uh, maybe either on here or on the main channel we're already gonna have two legacies here but uh, We'll, we'll see what happens, and we'll see if any puppies end up getting that coat at any point in the future, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, because Remus is always picked to eat, so him waiting to him waiting for, for Peregrine to eat first is really, really sweet. Um, oh, flank bites are better and accurate. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Oh, that's really cool that you did a, a family that's only Lion King names. That's kind of a fun thing. All right, oh boy, we gotta get back. So our, our rendezvous site is right up here, though. Not too far. Oh, that's really cool. I hope you get to see a wolf while you're there. Yellowstone is an amazing place, too. Like, I would love to go back someday. Um, but hopefully you'll, you will get to see a wolf, because they are really amazing. Um, let's see. Oh, that's really, that's really cool. I love themed names as well. I've had, what have I done themed names for? I always, I, I to think. I know I've done stuff with themed names before. Well, I mean, we've done themed names like, you know, even the Wildfire Pack has themed names. So, let's go ahead. We'll drop this meat chunk for the puppies. We will keep feeding them. How are they all doing? They're getting pretty close. Puma's actually almost 220 pounds. It's just mostly Hawk that we're waiting on because he's still at 18. And uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, I'm going to keep a close eye out, though. I don't know... I dare not open my mouth. <laughs> I dare not to uh, dare not open my mouth and make any comments because the minute I say something, it's it's gonna it's gonna happen. Um, so I dare not dare not jinx it. <laughs> um, what am I seeing in the distance? What am I seeing in the distance? You know, I think we're just gonna quickly move back into the grass for a minute as I go investigate what's going on over there. Wish is still eating a little bit. Everybody's, well, Wish still needs to eat. Wish still needs to eat. Um, I'm gonna actually eat the rest of this meat chunk because we can continue to regurgitate. Wish, Wish, please, please. I don't know what I'm seeing. Oh, <sighs> Remus, <laughs> I love you, sir, but like, I, I need her to be in the grass. I need her to be in the grass for a minute. I gotta go check on a thing. Do I, I don't dare leave the pups at the rendezvous site. Even if Remus stays, I don't dare do it. All right, please go back in the grass, yes. Thank you, I just wanna make sure. I think I'm not seeing anything dangerous, but I'm seeing something over here. Okay, I think it's just, okay. Just a wispy little tree, it looks like. All right. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Wasn't sure if I was seeing something in the in the distance there, or if it was just a, a bush or something. But it's better safe than sorry, so let's come back. We will call the puppies back out in the open. Everything is fine, I think. Yeah, the puppies here are all named by you guys, and uh, so are our mates. So at this point, at, I mean, I guess, yeah, at this point, <laughs> at this point, you guys will be contributing all the names that we have because when we start following puppies, only Peregrine and Frodo were actually named by me. So did Wish get to eat? How is everybody doing? Wish is still a little bit hungry, so we should probably regurgitate once again. Oh, I guess Puma doesn't really need more food, but it's, it's okay. Anybody can eat from that little pile. So that, it still works. And then we're gonna sleep because Peregrine is very low on energy and she also, oh Puma, be careful please. Um, She's very low on energy, <laughs> and that's never a good thing. Let's play with some of the other puppies while we're waiting, trying to get the pack affinity up. But uh, we can stay.
stay pretty close to them and probably raise that by sleeping some too. We'll just start a little bit, a little bit ahead of time. Oh my goodness, Puma's wandering again. Puma, <laughs> you're gonna get snatched by a Puma if you're not careful. That's what's gonna happen here. I don't, don't like that. I want you to stay over here where I can see you, but I'm gonna go ahead and we'll woof them back and uh, hopefully we can get some sleep here. Oh, those are just birds flying by. Yep, suspicious stumps indeed. Suspicious stumps, now we've got a suspicious bush. <laughs> everything, everything normal here. All, all's going well. Um, let's see. Uh, where, okay, everybody is doing pretty good on food. I just wanna make sure if that opens, it's raining again a bit. Um, oh, okay, I didn't, I, I've never known what happens if you, your puppies reach 15 pounds on the way to a new den, but it's good to know that it kind of just funnels you into the new mission. That's pretty cool. Um, a denless game would technically be possible. You'd have to choose one and then immediately leave. Uh, I imagine it would be very hard, though, because the, um... The pack affinity threshold is a lot higher, so it would definitely be a big challenge, that's for sure. Alright, um... We'll get up. Are the puppies gonna get up? I've got... I've got a funny feeling right now. Who goes there? Who goes there? Right up here, I think. Right over here. I, I smell wolves. I smell wolves. I don't know. Did Remus did not come with us? I'm gonna preemptively call him over. I'm pretty sure that we've got stranger wolves on the way and maybe a hecking bear? I sure hope not. I certainly hope we don't, but I do smell bear in this direction. All right, stranger wolves this way. What are y'all doing? Did our territory- oh, they are indeed trying to claim over here. Look at this, look at this. I don't know if they were coming for the puppies or not, but I definitely- <laughs> I had a feeling something was going on here. Alright, let's see. Suspicious flowers as well, yes indeed. Suspicious flowers are another thing to add to the bunch. Okay, the bear I think just came meandering by. But somewhere over here, we should go to our scent post, too. We do have one. We can go over here, and I wonder if that's where these stranger wolves are headed as well. Yep, danger sense. Danger sense do be going off. Danger sense go burr. Um, that, uh, that, oh, we're falling down the hill. That's okay. We'll come down here. But I think that's the direction they're heading. They're wanting to mark over that scent post. So we'll go mark it first, and then we'll see if we can find them and see where they're at. I want to be careful because our, um... Oh, did they just... Did they... Oh, no, they went this way, I think. Oh, my goodness. There's, like, a straight-up wolf carcass over here. Did they get in a big fight or something? Maybe they got in a fight. Yeah, I smell a wolf carcass, too. I think there's something, something going down over here, apparently. Something big going down. All right, y'all down here... Uh, what you doing? What you doing? Oh, are they leaving? They're leaving. All right, Remus is on his way. Oh, they ran away even just from me, apparently. All right, I guess uh, don't nobody want to mess with uh, with Peregrine, I guess. All right, off they go. Remus is still on his way. We'll do some howling, and we'll probably try and mark over the, um... We'll probably try and mark over... Oh, Remus came to do a howl as well. But we'll try and mark over their set post in here, I think. Um, oof, yeah, I, I, bears still scare me a lot, because even if you're really good at chasing them, like, the, the charge attack just absolutely terrifies me. It, it freaks me out quite a lot. Um, let's go ahead, we will, we'll put our scent post here, but they that marked over ours, I think. Um, if we go here... Oh, we need to howl a little bit more. Yeah, she just vibed at them really hard until they ran away. <laughs> I, too, desire to vibe at people until they run away sometimes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oof. Yeah, I find I find wolf carcasses on occasion. Not every time, but often. So, let's see. Yeah, no one messes with Peregrine and Remus. They, I think her reputation has uh, has spread. Perhaps she did. She did at one point kill a crevice-like wolf. 
uh, one of the Crevice Lake Wolves killed her pup. One of her pups, I think. Which puppy was that? Um, I think, was it? No, it was Car Carmen was killed by coyotes. Um, it was Juniper who was killed by Stranger Wolves then. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Peregrine did kill a Carvis Lake wolf at one point, and uh, so I wonder if that that reputation maintain it perhaps remains. All right, we're gonna go back though, and we will see. Um, yeah, I can on on the lower difficulties, I'm not as scared of the bears. On on the higher difficulties, I'm pretty sure Peregrine could just get one shot, so that freaks me out. Um, uh oh. Yeah, that's hmm. Yeah, that's something that is good to submit a bug report for. Uh, sometimes stranger wolves can be pretty sneaky, so it could just be them being sneaky, but I don't, I don't know. It could be, could be, could be a glitch as well. Yeah, coyotes and stranger wolves definitely are. They're, they're almost more difficult to deal with than the others because eagles are usually, in my opinion, or my experience, have been pretty skittish and easy to scare off. And um, the bears and the cougars, the bears, aside from their charge attack, they don't instantly kill pups. So it, uh, it's a little bit different. It doesn't quite, um, it's not quite the immediate threat that can happen quite so quickly. So it, that helps a little bit. I do up there. I think Remus is going to feed them. It looks like they've all gone to get some food from him. But I want to play with them a little bit because we do want to get the affinity up because it is quite low right now. How are they doing on, uh, on weight? Hawk is up to almost 19. So yeah, we probably will finish pretty soon here. Maybe after another day or two. So in that case, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the um, some of the airs here. We can go ahead and do that on stream, and then it'll go up as videos on YouTube as well, and you'll be able to vote in the polls when the time comes. So we'll do that, and assuming these guys will make it, oh, they're so cute, Puma. Puma, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't trust you. I'm sorry, I love you, but I do not trust that you're not just gonna go yeeting off into the grass. She just jumped out of Peregrine's mouth. And what did I say? She's yeeting off into the grass, just like I told her not to. Puma! Puma! <laughs> please! Please chill! Oh my goodness, bold puppies go burr, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. We'll get one last howl, which I think should be enough. I'm watching you, River. River is the other, um, the other common, uh, common problem with <laughs> problem child. All right, we're up to 100%. Let's woof. Back in the grass, everybody. Please go back in the grass. Puma's taking her time, so I'm going to assist her here. And these guys do need food, so we definitely need to go hunting for them. Maybe we'll swing by down this way and try to do some marking over here, perhaps. Yeah, Puma do go eat. Puma go eat, indeed. Um, yeah, Puma has ma made herself quite the character. She's... I. I, I never want to play favorites, and I never... I, I always try not to get too attached in case something horrible happens, but uh, Puma has definitely stood out to me this litter. <laughs> She's one of the ones that I'm both constantly, um, constantly cautioning and also, like... She's, she's definitely made herself quite the character. Oh, I smell much scent of our territory here. And I also smell stranger wolves. Who is this? Travis Lake again. I wonder if that's still the same ones. Um, let's see if... Oh, this hex is still quite strong. Okay, fair enough. Let's see if... Where did Moose Track go? Moose Track went up this way. Let's see if we can find... This is a bull moose. Never mind. Alright, we'll go sniffing around for the mule deer as well. So I suspect we've hit the point where the, um... Oh, yep, indeed. You can see the babies are running. That's exactly what I was saying. So I was gonna say I suspect we've hit the hit point where the, um... The babies are no longer hiding in the grass, and that is indeed what has happened here. We're gonna get kicked if we're not careful. They are gonna try to swim. All right, oops. Oh, the mom might be. Oh, the mom is kind of not. The mom's kind of getting a little bit stuck. Oh, she's she's trying to get out though. She's trying to get out. All right, we need to be careful. But if we get a good head start here, we can probably get a bite in. All right, or a couple maybe. All right, we're just gonna be very careful not to get kicked because even the mule deer do big major damage. Oh, even they they even do big major damage as I was saying, um, in the on the accurate difficulty. So that is uh, something that's a little bit concerning. Is that a hecking bear in the distance? I don't I do not see. I cannot fathom what else would be standing. 
up like that? What the heck? Boost? Oh, it's just a big log. I was like, what? I was very concerned and confused. I didn't know what was going on. Alright, let's see if we can... Oh, Remus, are you good? Are you okay? Is everything fine? He's howling. I hope that's not a sign that he wants us to come back. Let's uh, continue to follow here. And we'll see. Oh, maybe if we're careful, I think the mother will... Oh, the mother is still able to get out, unfortunately. I was going to say, maybe she will get caught and not be able to. But, yeah. Oh, I did. I did get Nessie. <laughs> it's just a log. It is only a log. Oh. Oh, we got it. Do we get it? We got it. We got it. Got it. Okay. Nice. Let's go ahead and we'll eat. We almost got kicked there. Um, yeah, we are, we have been theorizing that Remus may have two black coat genes, because so far all of the puppies that have confirmedly grown up have had black coats, and the odds of that are pretty low, um, because it would be a 50-50, you'd, you'd expect to see about 50% either way if he had one black coat gene and one gray coat gene, so the fact that it's been 100% is some whack heckin' RNG somewhere, <laughs> um, Oh, you need to watch what's, what's up with Pira. Well, we put out a new episode for Pira in the, today, and things have gotten heckin' wild. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked here if I'm not careful. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked here. Ow! Yep, I was, as I was saying, they do still do damage. The reason I'm still hunting, by the way, is first of all, these guys do not, uh, do not much have, have food, but, uh, and even Peregrine is down, uh, still a little bit even after having eaten, but we definitely want to make sure that we get more to eat if we can. Alright, ooh, gotta be careful. Mama's gonna come for us. We're not cautious of the problem here. Mule deer are surprisingly hard to catch because the mothers are so freaking fast. Oh, we can maybe get a bite here, though. Yep, we got one. I'm not gonna risk another, and one more should do it. So we can just get one more good one. But because the mothers are so fast, they can be surprisingly difficult. I think we can do it, though. Yep, we did, we did, we did. All right, let's see if we can eat it all. I think so, and then we'll see if we can find something else to bring back for the others. Um, yeah, that log, apparently, it just, it seemed like a bear. It legitimately looked like, oh, no, I didn't want to pick up. It legitimately looked like a bear. That's a cougar. That's a cougar wandering by in the distance. It's probably going to come for this if we're not careful. Can we take, oh, we can't take a meat chunk. No, I don't, I don't want, want this, don't want this. Actually, this doesn't seem to slow us down too much. I think we'd still drop it in the creek if we did, but okay, let's look at, all right, I did not... Did not mark the territory I needed to mark. Somewhere over here is territory to be marked. Is this... We have it all the way... Oh no, it would be... I'd have to... I was... Oh, it's right here. Okay, I was just on the wrong side of the border. So, e. They do They do kick very hard on accurate. Um, I'm hearing cougar sounds, at, I think. Pretty sure. Um... Hey, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. The stuff always stays up. I'm trying to get caught up on posting things on the on J Plays Two again. I know I got a little behind with that, but um, trying to make sure we get up there. So they they go up on uh, even our streams go up on YouTube after the um, after they air here on Twitch. So even if you miss something live on Twitch, you don't have to worry about missing it. Um, yeah, sometimes it's hard to make the lives. We're glad that hello. Oh, we got a little bit of leg, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you guys are able to make it live if you're watching live uh, if you're not watching live still glad to have you <laughs> hopefully you're continuing to enjoy as well and remember to keep an eye out because um, we will be having polls on YouTube oh that's the bison sound we will be having polls on YouTube very soon I see moose calf I see moose calf all right we're gonna we're gonna drop this because we're full we'll eat any little bit more that we can which is almost enough to finish it, apparently. That's okay, I'm okay leaving that tiny bit behind. And we will try and hunt Moose Calf, but we gotta be careful because Moose hit even harder. I do see you have Bebe hiding behind you, though. Yep, there we go. And I think we should be able to carry back, I think. Um, we just need to be careful. Fortunately, Remus is staying with the puppies, so we don't have to worry too much about the pack affinity. All right, if you don't like spinning, look away. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know when we stop spinning, but this is the best way to scare the moose calf. So if you get motion sick, look down. Don't uh, don't watch this right now. Mule deer damage on accurate you go burr. Um, oh, I hope I hope your your computer your computer fan calms down as well, uh, because I don't know why Twitch should make it go burr. All right, oh there we go. 
All right, I think we're done spinning for a little bit, so you can probably look back for now. We just gotta be kind of careful here. And I think, oh, we're gonna get kicked if we're not careful. There go bison. All right, I'm wa waiting for the baby to outpace the mother a little bit. Oh, that works as well. That maybe does not work, actually. I lied. That was almost very bad. All right, oop. Okay, we might be back to spinning. Hold on. Oh, no, I think, think baby is continuing to run. Usually this is what's helpful when the baby runs, except when the mother catches up. So that's less than helpful. But we're about halfway down. Oop, she's thinking about going for us. Ow! Even the baby can do trample damage? What the heck? What was that? What was that? Okay, the mother got a little bit ahead. Oh, there is a spike carcass here too, apparently. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, she didn't actually kick though, which is good. Alright, we're almost there. Almost down. Just gonna get a little bit more damage. We are gonna run very slow after this though. Alright, I'm gonna be... Oh! Let's... Ouch! Yeah, I was, I was risky. I should not have been risky. I should not have been risky! Alright. Um, we might have to do a little bit more spinning here. We'll see. Yep. Alright, look away if you get motion sick. <laughs> um, we are almost, uh, almost done with this, I think. Just need- oh, if we don't get stuck on a hecking rock. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, is- nope, the mama is not running on ahead if we go here. Alright, ooh, get out of the way. And another bite. Get out of the way. And one more should do it. I'm being risky. All right, we're good, but the mother might guard it. All right, I think we can get in. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. Ow, that hurt. Good night. <laughs> well, no more spinning, but we do need to get this ma'am to move. She is carcass guarding again. All right, chase me. Chase me. Chase me. That was, uh, like, almost 200 damage. <laughs> that was not, not fun times. Really not fun times. I hope we don't have to go back and fight anything. Will you move? Will you move, ma'am? Kindly remove thyself? She kind of follows us a little bit. Alright, if we kind of rush in like this, sometimes it helps. Alright, come on. Get out of the way. There we go. There we go. Yes. Miss ma'am, continue to move, please. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Chase me. Hey, chase me. You were eager to earlier. You were eager to earlier. Come on. Alright, I think she's far enough away that... Oh, now she's chasing me a little bit. Where is the carcass, even? Oh, the carcass is over here. I don't see where the carcass went. Where did the carcass go? Oh, it's right up here. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. She should not chase us now. All right. Um, yeah, that was a lot of damage. Moose, moose scare me. Moose scare me badly. Um, yeah. Yep, moose are, moose are, moose are no fun. But we need to run very far now. And we do have to cross the heckin' river somehow, which I think there are ways to do that. I think we can find a crossing. We just gotta be kind of cautious. Um, is that, that's a buck mule deer. Um, I did not think she was actually going to kick me. Uh, I did not think she was going to actually get me there, but she did, and it hurt. Yeah, bear, moose, and bison are all really freaky. Uh, I do not much like them. They scare me quite badly. Are we able to cross anywhere here? I do not think so. I don't think we can get across anywhere here. If we lose this now, I'm going to be very upset, so I'm trying to find some place that will be able to get across. So... Let's see. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> glad, to, glad to have you back. Oh, I, I haven't heard that as well. I have not heard that one. I'm not always up to date on memes, though. There's just a random log under the water. Is that? That's a. That's just a hair. Everything's fine. Walking by the bison. We're all good. We are very low on stamina. We are definitely very low on stamina. I kind of... Huh. I'm almost tempted to get back and immediately rest, but I don't think that's going to be a good idea because we do need to feed the puppies. They are getting a little bit hungry, but I'm a little bit uneasy about being so close to them. Well, that's just another another log, I think, in case it draws anything in. <laughs> oh, Paragon making her way downtown, walking fast, bison pass, and she's homebound. Yep, 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 indeed. That is great. All right, where... Is this... 
Is this a crossing? There is a heckin' moose on the other side. Uh, that is not a crossing. Okay, definitely not a crossing. Alright, we go back, we go back. It is close to a crossing. That would be a decent place to cross with pups, but not with food. Not with food. Is this a crossing? Could be. Could be, could be, could be. Possibly. Oh, this looks like it, I think. This is probably a crossing. Can I go across? There we go. All right, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. All right, let's go ahead and grab. And go across. As long as we don't have to swim, we will not drop. There we go. There we go. All right. So right up here, why is this boy just running? <laughs> he's just running his way along. I don't know where he's going. Oh, we could drink a bit for stamina boost. Well, although we're not actually running. We're not actually running, so I don't think it's going to be super worth it. Uh, we just got to get back to, I think that's our rendezvous site right there. Um, if we were running more, we could, but we don't have enough even to do that. So, let's see. Alright. Um, if we run across more water, I'll drink, though. I, don't, I just didn't want to go all the way back. <laughs> um... Yeah, she does have a very nice rendezvous set. The one that Peregrine is at right now is, is definitely a really good one. Hello, more bison. Um, oh, that was not the tree. The, I see the rendezvous site in the distance, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it is definitely a very nice rendezvous site. Uh, it does have very good visibility. It's harder to get snuck up on, which hopefully may, continues to be true. Um, <laughs> why is this boy just running? Yep, 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 indeed. Um, so you don't so either it either forces you what, what is the difference i think it might be because i've been forced to walk as well i think it depends for one on, on stamina and whatnot it just depends because if i if i were to start running here and then my stamina got all the way down it would actually straight up force me to walk here so i think that's what does it if your stamina goes down then it forces you to walk otherwise you kind of just do this little bouncy bounce all right let's go ahead we'll feed these guys real quick and hopefully we do not uh, meet with any catastrophe while we're here. Hopefully all is good and uh, we're able to just feed these guys and keep going and uh, get these guys the, the food that they need. So I do want... I'm going to let these guys eat from this first and then we'll woof them into the grass again. And then whatever's left of this Remus can have, basically. Bouncy bounce indeed. Yeah, I like the bouncy bounce. Bouncy bounce is very cute. Uh, and they're already very full on uh, affinity thanks to Remus having stayed home. Hmm. How are we doing on food? Uh, they could use to eat a little bit more. A couple of them are over 20 pounds already, though. Hmm. I've got vibes and I'm concerned <laughs> is the problem here. I want these guys to be able to eat. Puma already ate. Puma's already up to full, it looks like. The others just need a little bit more. How is everybody doing? How's everybody doing? River is the lowest. No, Hawk is the lowest. Hawk still needs to eat. going on. I don't know what that concern was. River stayed to eat a little bit more. I guess we're okay. I guess we're okay. Maybe. I think I'm a little bit extra on edge because my hunger and health, or my health is so low. My stamina is totally out. Puma, Puma of all, now of all times do not. I wish you could send only certain pups in. <laughs> that, you know, that would be a cool thing. Like, if you could, like, select a pup and whine and specifically that pup would go to the grass, that would be really nice. I mean, it, I don't entirely expect that they would add something like that because puppies are puppies and they don't listen well necessarily, but it would be kind of a handy thing if it worked. All right, Hawk d definitely needs to eat more, though. All right, now, once Hawk, once Hawk is more full on food, up to 80%, then we woof in the grass again. Then we woof in the grass. Because I'm still feeling a little unsettled. If we look at, okay, he's at 88. I think we woof in the grass. I think we woof in the grass. 
think we I think we woof. I think we woof. Alright. Y'all go hide. The moose calf is about halfway down. Are you serious? Ah, you gotta be joking me. You gotta be joking me. Y'all get. Get, get, get. Get, get, get. Oh, I'm not, I am not equipped for this. I am not equipped for this. I am really not. I am really not. All right. Oh boy. I'm gonna woof again. The problem is I don't want to, I don't want to get it. Okay, this guy's at least pretty skittish, but I don't want to get into an actual skirmish because Peregrine cannot help that right now. All right, get, leave, please. All right, is he gone? Is he gone? He's not quite. All right, I'm gonna keep woofing, keep woofing to make sure that they stay away. All right, oh my goodness, this is not, this is exactly what I was afraid of. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Oh, thank goodness they're gone. Okay then, okay then. Um, ah, huh. I thought my vibe check was gonna be wrong for a hot minute there, and uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess it's not. I guess it's still as on heckin' point as it always has been. Why is that the case? Why does it do that? Why do I just know when things are about to go wrong? All right, I want to make sure Hawk gets to finish, and then we'll move the babies, and then we'll sleep. And again, I think. Um, our hawk is up to 19. Puma's already up to almost 21. So once that's fine, I think we'll be fine. Alright, let's go ahead and woof back. Woof him back in the grass. Woof him back in the grass. And I am gonna bring Wish, could you please? Wish is kind of stubborn, I think. Wish is a little bit stubborn. But not Aurora. I won't Wish. Wish in particular needs to go back in the grass. Um... Yeah, Puma has definitely stood up. I'm like, I'm obligated to not pick favorites. I, 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 I have, I have to love all the, I love all the babies. I do love all the babies, but Puma is definitely one of the most memorable for me out of this litter. Just the constant wandering off into the middle of nowhere. Remus, are you going to eat? Sir, you're always hungry. Sir, are you going to eat your food? My guy. My guy, you got to be hungry, right? Oh, you, 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 what is this? Hello? What? No? No? Hello? Is that why Remus does not want to eat? Why do coyotes always come with rain? Why is it always when it starts raining that then we get a heckin' coyote attack? Are you heckin' leaving? You better be heckin' leaving. No, you get your butt out of here. You get your butt out of here. Alright. Alright. I see you, sir. Alright. Did Remus eat? Remus did not eat. What was that all about? Yeah, it was too quiet. Y'all were heckin' right. It was too quiet. Um... Uh, Fawn was in- Fawn was indeed in the second litter, I believe. Um, I guess it could be a glitch. Is he- how's he doing? He's not- he's at six here. You know what? We're gonna- we're, we'll do it this way. Come over this way, we'll run a little ways away, and then I'll howl him over and he should eat here. If I do this. Here, come here. Remus, come here. I think what it probably is, is the- we're close enough to the rendezvous site that he's wanting to leave food for the babies, probably, is what I'm anticipating. Hi. You want- you want food? You want food? You hungry boy like usual? Hungry boy like usual? You wanna eat? You can eat. There we go. So yeah, I think that's what it is, is he's wanting to make sure the puppies have the chance to eat, so we kinda just have to let him know, hey, this is for you, uh, by bringing it a little bit farther away. Now he's up to 94. That's a lot better. Um, all right, <laughs> I, I love Rain, I, I know, I know much of it, as much as I know about Oliver, I have loved all of it, he, he seems like an amazing cat, <laughs> and his cactus chomping story is amazing, poor baby. Oh no, I hope you feel better soon, Violet, if you have to go, that's fine, thank you for joining us while, while you could, and I do, I'll be praying you feel better soon, because that's not fun. Let's see, let's sleep. How are we doing? 19.4 for Hawk. Oh, hello? Hello? Please don't? Please let's- Oh my goodness, they all came bursting out. They all came bursting out of the grass. I think we need to woof them back in. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna have to woof them back in when we get there. Puppies did go yeet. Puppies did indeed go yeet and disappear into the- Oh, and it raining again. All right, how are we doing? First things first. 19.8. Hawk is the one who's still hidden. Let's woof. Let's woof. Y'all good? All right, River. River. River did hide. Okay. 
How are we doing on affinity? It's a okay, that's close enough. Hawk is the only one we still need to grow a little bit more, so I think if we look at our map. We gotta we gotta do some marking, but let's go do that and we'll go try to find some food for him. Mom's asleep, go exploring. Yep. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's just a raven. Oh, hi, there's food right here. Hello. Oh, and Remus came with. Nice. All right, that worked out well for us. That worked out well for us. We don't have to, uh, don't have to heck and worry then, I guess. Let's go ahead and, uh, make sure we get our fill now, and we can even maybe bring some of that back for the puppies, but I think probably not. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Uh, very, very close indeed. Uh, we probably, I, because I think... We'll probably finish by the end of this day. We just probably gotta go hunting enough and marking enough to find something to bring back for the puppies a little bit more. Free food is the best food. Free food is indeed the best food. All right. Hey, 57, 57, nice, <laughs> nice timing with the uptime command, that's fun. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, that is a fox. We can leave that be. I think Peregrine is pretty indifferent towards foxes. Like, I know Pyrrha is big on uh, big on being very nice to the foxes, but I don't think Peregrine cares all that much. She, she kind of is indifferent of them. Where is... Oh, it's over this way. Um, are we in the right... Yeah, we're in the right one. Okay. Um, I think Peregrine is pretty indifferent. She doesn't really care one way or the other with the foxes as long as they're not uh, not bothering her. She do just be vibing. She went from being more of a nervous, jumpy mom to being a very aggressive one to still still being aggressive and no nonsense. But like now, I feel like she's kind of more just the the sassy mom who will not put up who won't won't put up with it <laughs> she don't take she don't take none um she won't uh she won't put up with uh with shenanigans but i feel like she's a lot more chill about it now than she used to be like she used to be very sharp and on edge now she's more just like uh-uh we ain't doing this <laughs> i think she's kind of had a, a bit of a character evolution there we do we do we love the character growth all right yeah, the territory always freaks me out a little bit on accurate. It's not, so the territory isn't as pivotal that you keep all of it maintained to 100% the way it was on, um, wait, did he go back? Oh no, he's, no, I'm seeing the marking that we put on the site. That was what was going on. Um, maintaining the territory all the way up to 100% is not as pivotal as it was in, um, oh, hello. Who this? Who this? What you doing in my territory? Excuse you. Heck and excuse you. They're going for our, our scent post. They're going for our scent post. You want to get run into a bison herd? Because this is how you get chased into a bison herd. This do be how you get chased into a bison herd. Somewhere around here. Um. I, what was I even saying? What was I even saying? <laughs> I don't even remember. I, I got distracted by stranger things. Uh, oh, well. There goes that thought. Brain went yeet. We'll go see what these guys are all about. Are they fooling around out here? Haha. -ha. Yes. Oh, it's just one. You better move your butt. Yeah, I thought so. You better run. Am I getting am I getting tricked by another stump? No, it's a moose. It is actually a moose. I was like, what in the heck is that? Alright, where is the scent post is over here this time, it looks like. Um Let's go mark that and then we'll see if we can find like a fawn or something to bring back to the babies. Um, ooh, a one hex challenge on accurate. That sounds wild. I wish you luck. Oh, that was what I was talking about. I was talking about the territory. Thank you for reminding me of that. Um, so it's not as pivotal. Like I know you had to keep your entire territory up above 70% or the stranger wolves would show up on in the old game. It's not quite the same with that. So like it, you know, it'll discourage them the stronger it is. They're going to be less likely to want to pick a fight with you. But even if it's up all the way, they still do seem to show up occasionally. It's just if your whole territory is small and low then uh, they seem to be much more keen on sneaking in and messing around. Whereas if your whole territory is stronger and better maintained, maybe not at 100%, but if it's doing better as a whole, then they're more likely to... Um, more likely to... or more likely to leave you be. Uh, they'll be more hesitant to come in. Not that they never will, but they, they seem to be more discouraged by that, I think. So... <laughs> yeah, it worked out. Oh, I do see, I do see Bebe. All right, let's go ahead and we will try and munch, try and munch. Remus is joining us. 
Wow, even the baby can can do some damage. Alright, I do not know where the mom went, but I'm assuming... Oh yeah, she has a different baby. Okay, so, um... Let's go ahead, we'll bring this one back. I think Remus got his fill earlier, so I think we can just bring this back to the babies. If we look, yeah, he's still at 107. Hawk is at 19.9. So let's run back to the babies and see, and I think they're probably... It looks it looks like Hawk is just about to to reach that 20 pound. Try it, try it, yeah, <laughs> try and do a munch. We'll, we'll bring it back for the puppies to do a munch. Um, yeah, definitely keep us updated. I'm curious to see how that goes, and we'll, we'll have to see if we ever do, like, one-off challenge series on here. Would you guys like to see that? Would that be something you'd be interested in, and just, like, doing a one-off series? Probably where we have a wolf and we don't choose an heir, because I think having two legacies here is gonna be more than enough to handle. But if we ha did just, like, a one-time challenge and didn't choose an heir... Uh, and just had one wolf who, like, the challenge was to only have one thing in territory or whatever. Would that be something y'all would be interested in seeing? Or would that be something you guys don't care much for? So, yeah, one next challenge does seem stressful. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. We'll feed the babies. We'll drop this for them. They should be able to come and eat. We'll go ahead and we will give them a little bit of food as well. And just see. See if they are, if they are much hungry right now. Go ahead and regurgitate for them. I think they're probably, we're probably about to complete, because we're, we're pretty close, aren't we? Everybody's over 20 except for Hawk. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go ahead and we'll give, give a little extra food to the boy and see, does he want to eat? Does he want, to, does he want to eat? Because I think we're pretty close to being finished here. Um, now I don't see anything bad happening. I, I'm, I'm scared that, like, in the last minute here we're gonna have something go horribly wrong. But I think we're all right. I think we're probably okay, right? We're probably fine, right? I think, I think we're probably fine. Hawk, are you good? He didn't quite finish. He's, are y'all? I don't want you running off and getting yourself in trouble <laughs> right now. Like, I, I'm big scared of that. River! River 2! River 2 has made himself memorable by virtue of just wandering the heck away when, whenever given the, the slightest chance to. <laughs> so maybe we'll go ahead, we'll give these guys a nice howl, and then possibly... I'm gonna woof them back in the grass for now, because I think it looks like we may need to wait. They're not quite, quite big enough yet. We'll go ahead, we'll eat here, and we'll give them a little bit more time. And then we'll come back in after marking a little bit more territory, I think. I've, I, we're, we've got to be, like, right there. <laughs> but I guess it's just not quite time. Quite time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm... Sometimes the mates are very hostile towards bears and stuff, and it just doesn't seem like a good idea. It seems like something that's dangerous and asking for trouble. Oh, Remus is coming with us. Okay. Um... But yeah, so I'm guessing everybody's pretty full on food. What we'll do is we'll find another, um, oh, you get out of here, coyote. You get out of here. We'll see if we can find another mule deer, perhaps, and try to bring back another baby just for everybody to eat. And that'll probably be enough, I'd reckon. Um, oh boy. Good luck with the mate permanent. I still, so I don't turn it on normally. Again, that's something that we'll talk more about when we actually start Frodo's challenge, how we're going to be doing any of this. Um, and you guys will have the chance to participate. And the thing, some of the things I'm going to let you guys participate on are, first off, uh, turning the difficulty to accurate will be a thing that you can do, but second of all, off turning, if we, if we turn it to accurate, we might also turn on mate permadeath, depending. So, hello? Oh, it's just a big head of ice and carcass. Alright, y'all can get out of here. Y'all cannot be here. This is ours now. It's, it, it's not even in our territory, but you know what? This is our territory now. Um, this is, this is now our territory. It's now our lands. It's now our food. Um, We'll eat now. <laughs> uh, oh man, it's a pretty depleted carcass too. But yeah, so those will be some things that you guys have the chance to have enabled for some of the challenges, but there will be a little bit of a system for doing that, so it probably won't be on every time, but you guys will have a say in what it is. So, let's see. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, we gotta run back and see, I think. Oh, that is sad. I haven't actually done the Slum Creek Find a Mate quest yet. I have not had to. I'm sure at some point it'll happen, but I have not had to yet. Um, 
And that is... Yeah, that's always hard. Hello? Oh, it's heckin' bears! Let's, uh, let's leave now. We, we go now. We, we, we vacate. We, we, we leave. We go away. We go, we go back to babies. <laughs> we leave the, the mama bear alone. And we do not, we do not mess with this. We do not heck with this. Uh, yeah, Peregrine and her bears indeed. I hope she doesn't pass that luck on to whatever, whatever puppy becomes her heir. Uh, I wonder, and I wonder if Frodo is gonna have a thing too, because Peregrine's thing is definitely just tripping over bears without warning. But I wonder, I wonder if Frodo's gonna have his own totally separate thing that's totally different from that. We will see, we will see indeed. But here go all the babies. Are you guys all hungry? Oh, hello, Lego Burr. Like, it do be lagging a little bit. <laughs> Puma, are you gonna come out? Puma, you can join us. It's okay. It's okay. Hawk, are you hungry at all? Oh, Remus is Remus is gonna play. Hawk, do you want do you want to eat? Do you want food? Want to eat? Want to eat? Yes, no, maybe so. No, he's not hungry. Lag do go burr. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know why. I, it helps some. I think what they. It seems like some of the stuff they've done has helped, but sometimes they do just be going burr. All right, let's see. If we look, yeah, it's not quite. It's just not quite time. I think so. Let's actually go ahead and maybe we'll rest for a little bit and see, because I think there's probably not too much. Yeah, we've done pretty much okay for now. So we'll do it. We'll go ahead. We'll do a little bit of a sleep, and we will. Uh, we'll rest for a little bit. And we'll see, and maybe that'll give him some time to age up, too, because I think, look at the babies, oh my gosh! Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, let's get up before it gets too late. All right, oh! Oh, hey, that worked. Okay, I guess I guess we just finished. So, so spinny warning. It is gonna do a little bit of a spin here, but hey, I guess we just finished. So, you've kept your pups alive and growing at the Rendezvous site. You've now completed the Slum Creek episode. Congratulations! If you like, you can keep playing here in Endless Summer Mode while you wait the next episode. Um, you've reached an important milestone. The family snapshot has been saved. You can view this family tree in my wolves, and you can also turn any surviving pups into playable adult wolves. And once the next episode is released, we can continue on. So. We're gonna go back so it is endless summer and uh basically we could continue on but we're actually gonna go ahead and wrap up so we will go ahead though we will give one final howl for peregrine and remus because this is where we will be bidding them farewell so their story overall has been a success i mean they managed to raise 15 of their 17 pups successfully to adulthood and that's pretty darn good but we will um we will go ahead. I'm gonna. I'll go ahead. We will get. We will get a nice. Oh no! No, I don't want to pee. I want a heckin'. No, I want a heckin' screenshot. I want a heckin' screenshot. Oh my goodness! There. That. That. That's. That's on brand for these two. Just being absolute goofs. Um. Let's go ahead, though. I do want a picture of them howling together. We'll go ahead and and get some nice, some nice pictures of them howling together here. And uh, we'll go ahead. And I will make sure that we have that saved because I want to have this moment. I want to keep this moment. It is a good moment. But yes, here they be. And this will be their last little send off. Oh, the babies. Oh, no, the babies. No, the babies. <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake. All right, we're going to go ahead. And they've run out to see Remus. All right, we're going to go ahead and save here, though, because this is the end of the story. We got a lot of good a woo going on, but this is not the end of the stream. We've got about 40 minutes left. So, what we'll actually do, uh, we'll take a brief break here, and then I'll be, I'll be right back once I've got it set up and we can take a look at the babies in the family tree. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at each set of air and uh, we'll go ahead and do that but this is going to be the end of what is shown on YouTube for this episode the others will go up a little bit separately um, or actually no that, that'll be in a moment so pardon me just for half a minute here and uh, I'll go ahead and get this saved up and we'll go take a look at the family tree we'll be right back
All right, here we are. We'll go ahead, we'll turn this off. So, of course, we have the different family trees here. So we have Ruth Remus three times, three litters with Remus. And of course, this is our first one. Well, first, first of all, of course, we have Peregrine and Remus himself. You're, you're absolutely right that he will live on in every single one of his puppies having a black coat. Uh, it's so funny. His, his genes are definitely dominant. It'll be interesting to see if whatever wolf we follow, if any of their babies end up ha having babies that really end up looking like Peregrine unexpectedly because of recessive genes. We will have to see. And Puma, Puma's appetite indeed. Puma be, being the largest pup, if I'm not mistaken. So, of course, we have our first litter here. We have Archie. We have Juno. We have them all as adults as well. We have Raven. We ha uh, yeah, That is Raven. They just look a lot alike, apparently. <laughs> and we have Cedar, who are our survivors. And unfortunately, we have BB Juniper and BB Karma as well, who did not survive thanks to Stranger Wolves and Coyotes. Uh, then from our next litter, we have Kodiak, we have Kestrel, we have Fawn, we have Firefly, Ivy, and Taiga, who all did survive. All six of them made it. And last but not least, we have from this litter, we have five puppies here, Wish, River, Puma, Aurora, and Hawk, and we will be turning them into adult wolves today. So we have Wish, we can look at the, these stats as well, so Wish is 8F. And uh, we have stamina 1, strength 1, speed minus 1, health minus 1. So overall fairly balanced, but definitely biased towards being uh, overall a stronger wolf, actually. Uh, with uh, increased strength and increased stamina. The small puppies are so cute indeed. <laughs> Remus the himbo, yes. That, that is, this is, this is an excellent way for Remus to go down in history. Um... We also have River. Oh, River has a very pretty coat. He was one of our, well, I can't say one of our bolder puppies because they all are hecking bold, but he was definitely one of the ones who wandered the most. <laughs> uh, we And he has stamina one, strength minus two, so he's actually not that strong. Plus two speed and minus one health. That's the same, no, that's not the same stat balance. No, okay, so, but uh, similarly, he does have V2 speed. He just also has a little extra stamina, so this wolf can run. <laughs> River can heckin' run. We also have Puma, who I, oh, I'm glad she made it. I was scared for her through much of it. Uh, and she has two stamina, minus two health, one strength and minus one speed. So again, she's a bit more of a strength-oriented wolf, but even more than that, she's a pretty endurance-oriented wolf. And uh, we also have Aurora here. Uh, again, a very, very pretty coat color too. All of them, all of them are so cute. Like I love the, I love the different puppy coats. They're great. They're just the, the pups are so good. The pups are so heckin' good. Um, so it looks like Aurora has one stamina, minus two strength, two speed, and minus one health. So again, uh, much like River can heck and run. <laughs> uh, and then last but not least, Hawk, who actually survived illness and uh, was our littlest. Uh, and he actually was a runt, it looks like. Oh, that's wild. I didn't know he properly was. Okay, so you can see he's got overall a negative stat balance, which I'm pretty sure I've noticed that with any of the pups that have been significantly smaller. They have the lower stats. So he has a minus one stamina, minus two strength, no speed, and minus one health. So overall a minus two balance, which is pretty interesting. I did not know that. Yeah. Um... So he definitely was the runt. So these are the new babies that uh, we have. We can go ahead and we'll take a look at them shortly and kind of get them set up as adults. Yeah, I didn't think he was a runt either. It kind of surprised me. So I'll go ahead and put the screen up for a second. We'll do that and we'll go visit them in just a little bit.
All right, here we go. So first up, uh, we have Wish, and uh, we got a little bit of a surprise here. So it looks like Wish actually has one of the NPC codes, I'm pretty sure. I've never seen this uh, available. So I think this is one of the NPC exclusive variations. Oh, thank you for the Prime sub, Rhonda. Thank you very much. But oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. <laughs> I've, I've never seen this coat before, so it looks like we have at least one occurrence of this in the litter. So again, just to let you know, we can't actually scroll. I, I, want, I want them to add scroll. I want to be able to look down, but... Um, we can't actually have any of the, or none of these pups are probably going to have the new coats uh, because they were generated as pups before the DLC came out. But pups in the future probably can. But at, right now, this is Wish. This is what she looks like. So this is one of the older new coats that is an NPC exclusive that you can only get on dispersals and puppies and oh my goodness it is a gorgeous one. Oh, that's so cool yeah i love I, I i didn't know this coat was a thing and i already love it so much it actually almost looks like it almost looks like a variation of i wonder if it's a variation off luna a lot of the other puppies especially the earlier ones had luna coat so i wonder if it's a variation off that uh you can see she does have the genetic coat color of black as well she's got these really piercing yellow eyes they're so pretty i'm such I, i'm such a sucker for really really dark coat and really really light eyes it's just so striking and i love it and i love her little red nose patch too that's so cool let's go ahead we'll listen to her howl as well <coughs> She got the classic howl. That's always a fun throwback. And then for the secondary. Hey, so she's got a really nice secondary as well. And then as I mentioned earlier, so these uh, ear and neck or ear and body ones, I think the radio collar can randomly trigger. But uh, aside from that, I'm actually going to be leaving these up to my Patreon supporters. So if you're a member of the Patreon or you wish to become a, a member of the Patreon, I believe we have a command for that for Mubot as well. Uh, if you are here on uh, Twitch, if you are on YouTube, that's probably in... You know, I should make sure it's in the video description if I'm going to say this. I'll, I'll check that. Um... But uh, you will actually have the chance to, on the air polls, comment if there's anything you think, like maybe wish you think should have gotten collared by humans at some point and have a radio collar. Or maybe she just has a really, really fluffy tail. But I'm going to be leaving that up to those on Patreon. Uh, so if you want the chance to participate that, in that, go ahead and go on there and then take a look for a post with the air poll. And you can comment your ideas for what customizations there should be and maybe some stories behind them. And I may select some of those and use them for our canon wolves. So that's a fun little thing I'll be bringing in. But also, if we look at her stats, we won't be adding any of that right now. So again, she has extra strength, extra stamina, not a lot in either one, but a little. And a little bit less speed and a little bit less health. So she's still a fairly neutral wolf, but overall, she is, um, uh, she, overall, ha she has a little bit higher strength and stamina. I wonder if there's a higher chance of radio collar or not. I have no idea. We'll have to see. And then, of course, we can add to her bio here. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll just put in Moonstone AF, and then we will remove that from her name so that it's just a little bit, a little bit clearer here. So that is Wish. We'll go ahead, I'll go back. I'm going to put the screen up again just a bit for a bit here so that we don't get spoilers for other things. I've got some other wolves in here that aren't quite ready to be seen yet. And we will go find, I believe, since so she was AF, I think we will, are looking then for 8M. Somewhere, somewhere. Uh, if I keep scrolling, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time remembering which wolves were what number. I think I, well, I think I remember which one. We can always look from Peregrine as well. Uh, we'll go back and look at Peregrine. That's how we'll do this. Um, so where is 8M? That's River, right? I think that's River. Scrolling through. I have too many wolves. I need to clean my wolves. <laughs> ah, here he is. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at. River, here he is. I think this is another NPC coat. I'm pretty sure this is another NPC coat variation. Is this? I don't see it on any of the any of the listings here. The panel shows a fair number of them, but I don't. I think this is. I think this is a very another variation, possibly. I think this might be. 
So let's see. Um, <laughs> we can add a, the fluffiest tail ever, indeed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, thank you, thank you guys for all the support. I much appreciate it. And I'm working on incorporating more fun things, especially to Patreon and subscriptions here for uh, for those things. But also just in general, we'll be having more additional fun things coming to the channel, including more emotes and stuff. But this is very pretty. Yeah, definitely similar to Wish, but less brown. Again, genetic coat color is black. He is very, very handsome. Um, I very, 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 very much like this coat as well. I think, I'm pretty sure this is an NPC coat. I swear I have not seen this one before. Uh, so this is probably another one. And he does have a radio collar, huh? I just realized he has the radio collar. I didn't put that on him. He, I think... I, yeah, I don't think I accidentally clicked that. I think he just had that. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure he just heck and had that. I, I don't think I accidentally put that on anyway. Uh, he also has these very bright yellow eyes as well. Again, that really striking, very bright eye color against the dark coat. I love that so much. And then as for his howl, it looks like he's got some different ones. He's got a bit of a deeper howl here. And then if we look over here. That's a lot of contrast between the two. I didn't expect that he would have such a deeper one and then a higher whinier one like that, but I kind of like it. It suits him. Uh, again, for these, this might be something we incorporate into Patreon at some point, but it does look like the game assigned him a radio collar, which is kind of cool. Uh, that one does seem to be something that can get toggled on by, by chance, and he's not the runt, so I don't know if it's higher for runts or if that's just coincident, but uh, he does seem to have one. And if we look at his stats here, minus two strength, plus one stamina, plus one, two speed, and minus one health, so a little bit more of an exaggerated version of Peregrine's almost. Uh, and then, of course, we go here. We will go ahead and mark him as Moonstone 8M. And we'll go ahead and remove that from his name. Uh, and again, they did talk about why they don't show the personalities. And, you know, I'm okay with that. Um, I was not sure exactly, but I, I definitely get the philosophy behind wanting that to be something that can be left up to your decision. Peregrine did have a caller, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did. All right, so that is a river. We're going to go ahead. We'll go back. We got three more to look through. I'm going to turn on the screen again and we'll go look for nine. I think it was, I think it's nine. I think Puma was nine. Puma's nine F and she's a little bit older, I think. Um, and then we also have nine M somewhere, which would be, who's nine M? <laughs> I'm going to get everybody wildly confused now. Pardon me. Um, let's see here. I think Puma was older, though, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's Hawk. It's Hawk. Okay. Yeah, Puma is older. Yeah, Puma, Aurora, and then Hawk. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and find if I can find her. I have too many wolves. Oh my gosh. I'm scrolling through like 30 wolves in between here, and many of them are spoilers, so pardon me. <laughs> but here we have... We'll go ahead and turn off the screen again. Puma herself in the flesh. She has... Oh, she's got like almost greeny eyes. And again, she has one of the NBC codes. We really rolled lucky with that. We really did roll quite lucky with that. Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I, this is a really cool coat. She still has the genetic black color. I think all three of the pups we've seen so far have had the NPC coats, which has me absolutely blown away. But I love her kind of, like, if we look, let's, let's get a closer look at her eye color. I love that, honestly, because it almost kind of, almost feels like a little bit cougarish having the, um, having the more greeny, almost silvery sort of eyes. Uh, they're really, really pretty. Uh, and I, I, I like that. I like that. It's kind of almost got that cat-like vibe to it. Let's go ahead. We'll listen to her howls as well. Oh, it looks like she got the classic one, too. Ah, that's always so much nostalgia from that howl. And then for her secondary... She got a very, very pretty howl as well. Uh, and then again, for these customizations, it's something we'll leave up to Patreon probably, but she did not get assigned a radio collar here. 
Uh, but as for her stats, she's got a little bit higher strength, but she's got much higher stamina, whereas she's got a little lower speed and much lower health. So she's a very endurance-oriented wolf uh, who who can, can definitely bite hard and hang on a long time, but she can't take as many hits and she's not going to go as fast. So kind of an interesting contrast to her name in some ways. She, she kind of swung a little bit opposite of that. Now let's go ahead, we'll add her designation to her bio as well, Moonstone 9F, and we'll remove that from her name, and that is Puma, <laughs> very, very pretty wolf as always. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and put the screen back, if it lets me, if it lets me, hello, hello, there we go, Streamlabs, <laughs> alright, here we go. Everybody does have an NPC code. That's hilarious. Remus really just said my genetics be whack and then rolled with it. <laughs> he, he definitely has some, some special genes, it seems like, and I, I think he's much ensured that his memory will very much live on. Uh, definitely not going to be forgotten anytime soon, especially with an emote coming up at some point in the future here. So next up we actually have Aurora, who has the... Um, she is 10F, and she is the, the first one who has a coat that I actually see here, and I'm pretty sure it's her dad's. <laughs> so she didn't get an NPC coat, but she she just straight up got Remus's coat, I'm pretty sure, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the one that he has. Uh, so she she still got those jeans. She still got those jeans. They're, they're just the straight up norm, normal ones. <laughs> uh, but she does have the black coat as well. So, uh, so far, 14 of 15 are confirmed. Um, and she has kind of greeny eyes as well, but again, a lot brighter and less in the silvery spectrum than Puma does. Still very, very pretty though. Remus jeans do go purr. I don't, like, I don't know what, what. <laughs> he won the genetic lottery. He really did. And I think he's guaranteed that he'll leave his mark on this family for generations to come. But let's go ahead and listen to her howls. <laughs> Oh, she's got a really deep one. A deep one and then kind of a higher one as well. So again, a very pretty combination. Once again, doesn't look like too much going on in this department. We're not going to add that right now. And then if we look at her strength is low, her stamina is up a bit, her speed is up quite a lot, and her health is lower as well. So again, very, 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 very run good. <laughs> uh, but we'll also go ahead, we'll put her designation here, Moonstone 10F, and we'll remove it from her name. And that is Aurora. So we have one final wolf here as well to go through. We'll go ahead and put the screen up. And that is, of course... Horse, Hawk, if I can find him. He's around here somewhere, I'm sure. Um, I can find him amidst the sea of wolves. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and see here. There he is. Oh, there he is. All right. And once again, it looks like Hawk has one of the NPC coats too, because I do not recognize this. That's so funny to me. Oh my goodness. Remus, you've got something special, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And once again, genetic coat color black. So of 17 pups, 15 made it to adulthood, and all 15 of them had black coats. I, I don't know what kind of whack RNG that is, but I think it's a very reasonable assumption that Remus may actually have a double black coat gene, which is insane because most of those wolves would not make it to adulthood. So he really is a very unique wolf. <laughs> he certainly has left behind a memory that will not be forgotten. Um, so yeah, here is Hawk. Again, very, very pretty. I love this kind of silvery coat. I, I really love that. Uh, and again, I do not see it here, so I think it's an NPC coat. If we look at his eye color, he also has those really striking gold eyes. Very, very pretty. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to his howl as well. I know I say that about all the wolves, that they're pretty, but they all are. <laughs> they're all just amazing. Sea of wolves. Yep, we do have that, but we'll hear his howl here. There we go. So he's got kind of a deeper one, and then for a secondary... 
Oh, a bit of a rougher one. I like that, though. It's a pretty one. And then again, we're not going to do too much with these. He didn't get a radio collar, it looks like. But if we look at his stats, strength is minus two, stamina is minus one, speed is zero, and health is minus one. So he was the runt. He was the runt of the litter. And he does have the lower stats that came from that. So that's interesting to see. But we'll go ahead. We'll put his designation here as well. Uh, and that's 9M. And we'll remove it from his name. And this is actually going to be where I wrap up this YouTube video. If you're still here on Twitch, stay tuned. You guys will get a little bit of a sneak preview for what is to come. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll look at some of the errors after this. But for now, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you guys so much. And uh, again, thank, thank you <laughs> thank you to all of you who aren't watching this live as well. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying it. And stay tuned to see these air polls going up sometime in the near future as Frodo's story airs. And if you're not watching this live, you can find a link to my Twitch channel in the video description. If you do want to catch the, some of these streams live and you have the chance, you can find my schedule on Twitch. I do try to update that. So if you're wondering if I'm going to be streaming at a certain time, that's the one that I keep the most updated reliably. So you can tell if there's any unexpected breaks or changes or anything. I try to keep that update as much as I can. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out on Twitch as well. And we'll see you guys later.